Hey everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. It is your girl, Jay Ross, back with another video. As you guys can tell by the title down below, this is going to be part two of the miscellaneous makeup declutter or whatever. Um, yeah, so let's just go ahead and get into it because I'm ready to get rid of this stuff. <laughs> So as mentioned in my last miscellaneous declutter video or my last declutter video, which if you have not seen, first of all, are you subscribed yet? Is that what I'm seeing? Is it because your notification bell is still not on? I'm asking for the culture. The culture that is the J Crew fam. I'll wait. No, I won't. I got stuff to do. We just gonna start off hot out the gate. Go ahead, subscribe. Go ahead, like, go ahead, share, even though I haven't done anything yet. I want y'all to feel the presence of me on your recommendation timeline. That's all I gotta say. In my last miscellaneous declutter video, I had this huge Paris chest full of makeup to get rid of and declutter. So that's what we're gonna do today. This thing is heavy, so I won't be holding it up much. Y'all gonna just let me be great and let this be in the screen because it's, it's too big not to be in the screen. So to get started, whew, Lord. Where do I begin? I don't care. Elf New Forma 3-in-1 Mascara, very black. I've opened it and I haven't used it and it might be dried out by now. I've only used it once and it's not dried out yet, so I'll keep it. Next up we have this Golden Light Spotlight Face and Strobe Palette. Face and Eye Strobe Palette from Milani. Beautiful, beautiful shades. I absolutely love this. I love mixing them. I love having them separately. I want to move this out the way because I feel like it's too much in the camera. You didn't see anything. Yeah, so it's like not dried out, but it's not as shiny as it used to be, but it still was very, very pretty. But that's all three shades mixed and also pretty on the eyes too, because I did try it on my eyes. So I um, have to get rid of this because it's old, but if you see this in your store, I definitely recommend this little palette from Milani. This is their Bronze Burst Color Harmony Blush Palette. Bronze Burst is the name of it. This is what that is. I've also had this for a while. It has like a highlighter in the middle and then like different shades of blush that you can mix, mix together. Well, as you guys can see, it's pretty much dried up because you see nothing. And then there's the highlighter. This is terrible swatching, but it's hard to do it with. Y'all get the point. This is the Maybelline Dream and Velvet Soft Matte Hydrating Foundation in the shade 94 classic coconut didn't i have another one and then this is the shade coconut which is 95 foundations and eyeshadows are kind of like my like thing to buy all the time so i don't think i've ever used these so i don't even know the formula of these i don't know anything about them i was going to do a foundation review on these apparently but because i saw these at walmart on like sale but apparently i never used them so they could probably go to my mom because she probably would use them, but I won't. Oh my gosh, we have the Total Control Drops from NYX. So this is the foundation drops. As you guys can see, that is a whole bunch of liquid, oil, whatever at the top. This is the first formula. I've had this since maybe 2018, 2017, something like that. And I've barely used it. I don't even remember how I felt about it, but I know it's extremely old, so it is extremely going. Then we have this Maybelline Total Temptation Mascara in the shade Very Black. Next up, we have the Elf Putty Eye Primer. This is in the shade, I think it was like sand. Yeah, sand. Um, this is what it is. I really didn't really like it. I really didn't really like it. Does that make sense? I get what I'm saying. It feels like it's already dried out to me, which is weird. Like, no, seriously, it's already dried out. Like, it's like, it's barely like making an indent. Oh my gosh, this is so dried out. Revolution Luxury Banana Powder. I've talked about this in my last miscellaneous. This one is not open because I used to love that powder so much that I thought I would need a backup. So this one is completely not open, so this can go to somebody. This is the e.l.f. Monochromatic Multi Stick. This is in the shade Luminous Berry. I mean, maybe I should try it again because when I tried this, I did it with the full face of e.l.f., but like that full face of e.l.f. I wasn't even feeling. Beautiful shade. All right, I'll give it one more try. I'll be nice. Next up, we have this Baked Gelato Swirl Illuminator in the shade Peach Glow. 
I don't like this shade. I don't like this shade at all. So I bought this one thinking it was gonna be like all beautiful and rose goatee-ish and all that good stuff, even though it says peach. And then it's just like, not the same. It's just white and chalky. Like, why are you so white and chalky? I don't like it. But the Diamond Dust one is so pretty. It's a white one, but it's like iridescent purple. It's so, so pretty. But this one was just so, so trash. This is the Too Faced Better Than Sex Mascara. This is a mini. I've had this for forever since I first discovered like Too Faced for myself when I first started my makeup journey. But I am sure that this is an empty and I have newer ones. Yes, I definitely have a newer one. So I do love it, but I just feel like it kind of has an overhype like it's, it's an overhype, overpriced thing, especially for something that expires in like six months. I whatsoever am not a good eyebrow person. I can tell you some good products, but me personally doing my eyebrows is out the window. So I was gonna try to use these stencils. I don't know. Do you guys wanna see me try to do my eyebrows using a stencil? <laughs> Let me know. Maybe it might help me like figure out what to do with my eyebrows. Maybe it might, I don't know. This is the Tarte Man Eater Voluminous mascara i got this for free from ulta it clearly says tarte loves ulta or whatever um never used it i don't rock with tarte ever since that whole fiasco about the shape tape foundation next up we have this bb cream dream fresh bb 8 in 1 beauty balm skin perfector broad spectrum spf 30 from maybelline this is in the shade deep sheer tint is that the shade name well, that's what we're gonna call it today. So this is that. I bought this early in my makeup journey to figure out what's the difference between a CC cream, a BB cream, foundation, skin tint. I wanted to know the difference between all of them, so I wanted to try basically what I could get my hand on from all of them. And yeah, so I know this is oh, Dark Brown Makeup Powder from She Glam, which as you guys know, or do not know from my previous videos, She Glam is She and Makeup brand. This is from my haul before they darkened their complexion shades, their products and stuff like that, and expanded the range of things. Beautiful packaging, and I'm excited to go back and try some of the new things. Oh, I remember this. It was already spilling out by the time even before I actually opened it, it was already spilling out. Yeah, that's definitely too light. Next up, this is the Focal Your Blush Highlight Contour Palette. I'm not even gonna open this. I already know I don't want it, so this is going. Somebody recently commented on my Focal Your video. It was like, oh, she a Focal Your another chance. They updated their product formula, and I'm like, product formula is okay, but when you still don't have a range in complexion products that I can actually use, you could change the formula all you want. And when your customer service is still trash, I don't care to spend my money on it if knowing by the time I get my products I can't get a refund if I don't like your product so thank you for whoever suggested that I should try them again and try their updated formula but you guys will probably never see me do another focal your video unless they for some reason saw that video and was like we want to make it up to you we'll send you a whole new batch of whatever but it's not happening this is Smith and Colt black drop modifying face primer this is a primer that is black I know I'm not being racist. It actually comes out black like charcoal and then it does rub it and turn to clear or whatever. So I got two of these. This is the one I did not open so this can go to somebody. Um, have I actually tried the primer out for long wear? No, I just wanted to actually see what it looked like if it was actually a black primer. So I haven't even tried it, tried it, but I'm pretty sure I will try it soon because I have a lot of stuff that I need to try. This is the She Glam Creamy Concealer in the shade 04 Ginger. And this was the darkest concealer shade at the time. I know for sure they have darker shades than this now and I'm not even gonna try to compare them because this was just not it. Maybelline Lasting Drama Waterproof gel pencil in the shade 601 sleek onyx never used this pretty sure i got this when i got that random free mascara next up good lord how much maybelline stuff do i own this is the dream brightening creamy concealer in the shade 60 deep this was the deepest shade of this concealer and it is an automatic twist up one i have used it apparently And I don't see myself ever using this again. Next up, we have this HD Focus Liquid Foundation from Ulta Beauty, natural finish, paraben-free, oil-free. Never used it. 
don't care to use it in the shade deep cool this is the maybelline falsies mask volume express mascara from did i say maybelline i'm pretty sure i said maybelline this is an empty because I know for sure I have used this and bought this multiple times. CoverGirl Outlast Active, I have Broad Spectrum SPF 20. I have 875 and 870. I bought these a while ago, like when they first came out. Never used them, was going to do a foundation comparison, whatever, whatever. Cause I do like, I really do like CoverGirl foundation. So I'm gonna keep these because I should probably try these. This is the 16 hour wear Camel Concealer from e.l.f. This is in the shade Rich Ebony. Wait. Once again, I love these concealers so much that I have it in both formulas. So this one I will use in the summer. This one I use near my dryer months, which is why it's closer to me. I was trying to learn how to do like the cat eye and the wings and stuff because I could never get it on my own. So this is one of those like stamp things that you stamp and then you like finish the rest of the whatever. Oh crap, I never use this and I want to try this because I want to try to be like extra and stuff. Next up we have this Bella blush from Juvia's Place. You guys know this was my favorite blush for the longest. I'm pretty sure I used it in high-end looks, drugstore looks, whatever looks. This was my favorite, favorite blush. Shein Matte Velvet Skin Compact. Smooth and delicate in the shade 04 Warm Brown. Once again, Shein She Glam Haul. Yeah, I'm not going to use that shade. Nope, not even for the updated video. Not going to use it. Well, I did keep the other powder. Actually, I would rather keep this compact, maybe for under eye, than the loose setting powder. So I'm going to get rid of the loose setting powder and I'm going to keep this one. The Cover Max Full Coverage Matte Foundation from Focal Your in the shade 19 and 20, if I'm not mistaken. Yep, 19 and 20. Focal Your. We ain't got to say nothing else. Focal Your. Done. <sighs> Another Focal Your thing. Next up is this Focal Your Concealer in the shade 07 Deep. Everybody say it with me now. Focal Your trash all right next up we have the elf blush palette this is the dark one this is the powder blush palette don't really use it didn't really like it here's another monochromatic multi stick in the shade glowing mango this one i never used even though i i really would rather have this shade than the luminous berry one because i've already opened it opened the luminous berry one and i have not opened this one whatsoever i would rather this go to somebody oh lord Next up is this Tarte Face Tape Foundation. This is a sample of it. Probably came with the mascara from Ulta. I'm not even gonna use it. This, this next section right here, just, just cover your ears real quick because I've already talked about this and I'm pretty sure a lot of you guys hate me for it, but this is the Jackiana palette that I also mentioned I was not gonna keep in 2021. Um, but of course I didn't know where I was at to actually throw it away before 2021 started. Yeah, it's, it's going hate me all you want but it's going next up we have the hangover three in one replenishing primer and setting spray this is like a mini trial size and i'm pretty sure it's empty because look how little it is apparently it wasn't all that to me because i didn't buy a full size one or at least a bigger one so that's my thing if i get mini trials or things to try out and i don't buy a bigger size then it's because i didn't like it next up i have this full coverage liquid concealer waterproof concealer from Ulta Beauty. This is in the shade Deep Warm. Don't even think I used this and we're not going to use it anytime soon. Next up we have this Juvia's Place Eye and Magic Setting Powder in the shade Namib. I didn't like these powders whatsoever. I really didn't, but I kept using this with the wrong foundation shade. So maybe that's why I didn't like it. So I'll have to try it with stuff that I know I like. So I'll give it another try. Next up, we have this Anastasia Beverly Hill Blush Trio. This is in the shade Peachy Love. I don't think this was the right shade for me. Beautiful packaging. I love it. Like there's like little Anastasia like logos on it, but the shades weren't specifically for me. Like I love an orange shade. I love a coral shade and all this stuff, but they weren't deep enough for me. I have never used this brush set. I did want to try Morphe brushes, but I never use these. So this can go to somebody because I completely have never used these brushes and I like the cute pouch that it comes in, but I've never used these brushes. I don't know how many times I keep saying that. I've never used these brushes. Oh my gosh, I'm a foundation junkie. <laughs> this is the Revlon Photo Ready Insta Filter in the shade 450 Mocha. 
I have never tried this. Clearly, I have never tried this because y'all would have saw this sponge completely dirty or something. So I have never tried this. Next up, we have the e.l.f. Set Smooth and Set Eye Powder in the shade Sheer. I actually do like this powder. Why is this in here? So I'm keeping that. I like that powder. Next up, we have this Lime Crime Diamond Dew Liquid Glitter Eyeshadow in the shade, what's the shade? Vision. I got this in my Lime Crime Mystery Boxes. Look how pretty that is. Oh, I'm keeping it. This e.l.f. Pro Eyeshadow Primer. I remember not liking it, so this is going. Next up, we have this NYX Eyebrow Pencil in the shade Black Noir. Apparently, I didn't like this because it's a lot of product. Whoa, still, okay, it's a lot, a lot of product left. I hate this brush. Just give me a regular spoolie. What the heck is this? And last but not least, we have this Full Spectrum Cover Girl Sculpt Expert Bronzer in the shade Ebony. I have never used this because it's clearly in its packaging and I love the full spectrum line so that's probably why I bought this and I never use it. What the heck is wrong with me? How dare I disrespect this line? Is that it? <gasps> I'm done. I am done. Second of all, you know I'm vacillating here. Time. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Once again, I am a girl. J Ross, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel. Thank you guys so much for sticking with me through my declutter videos. Um, I know it's hard for us all to declutter our collection and want to get rid of stuff. I know we are all about skipping the expiration dates, but we can't pass those up because sometimes the products that are expired are the reasons why our faces are breaking out. The shade may not be the same as you remember because they may have completely oxidized and separated and all that stuff. We have to get rid of stuff that we don't really want to or we at least have to stop using it and can put it on display. If you do not know, I will be starting a new series soon called J Talk, which I'm really excited about. Um, I asked you guys on my Instagram for like Q and A things. So I wanted to start off with like you guys getting to know me before I started getting to the, you know, the real hard hitting conversation. So if you have not left your question for question and answers video, please comment that down below. I'm really excited. I can't wait to start that new series and I hope you guys are excited with me too. I hope you guys are staying safe, happy, healthy, and blessed. I love you guys so much. And as always, I will see you guys in my next one. Peace. Oh, also, by the way, because I'm pretty sure you guys are going to ask, this look is most likely on my Instagram. If it's not already in like the tutorial on my Instagram, then it probably will end up on this channel and a makeup and chill. Let me know how you guys feel about the makeup and chill videos or even the YouTube short videos that I've been posting lately. Would you guys rather see me do a full explanation, talking as I'm doing the look, or are you guys okay with the quick tutorials? Do you guys miss the tutorials on YouTube? I don't know. I feel like y'all don't even care anymore. I just feel like it. But anyways, yeah, seriously, peace. <laughs>